AMD FSR 2.0 is coming to Xbox and PS5 and and it's coming to Nvidia graphics cards as well. <laughs> if you don't know what FSR is, basically, basically, it's AMD's next level temporal upscaling technology and it's designed to deliver similar or better than native image quality and boost frame rates and support games across a wide range of products and platforms. So basically, it allows you to run games at a lower resolution, which as you know, delivers a better frame rate and look like you basically you're running at a higher resolution now if you play if you play pc games like i do if you have a steam deck even you might know what it's like to run a game at like 720p on a 1080p monitor or a 1440p monitor and you know how it looks right it looks pretty bad well this technology allows games to basically run at 720p but look like they're being played at 1080p or 1440p it's insane it's great technology um i'm excited to see where it goes nvidia are already doing their own kind of thing called nvidia dlss that has actually really taken off lately um and like it says, the key for me at least is to have the game still look playable, but get that higher frame rate. And I think that's going to be insanely handy for things like this thing over here that I've got. The Valve Steam Deck, which as you know is Valve's latest handheld game in PC. Um, and for games with this, with like a mobile sort of like mini mini CP, desktop level CPU in here. Well, not desktop level, but a mini AMD Ryzen um, CPU. Um... It's not always going to be possible to play games at like 720p with 60 plus frames a second, right? Especially like AAA games at high sense. Well, hopefully with FSR 2.0, you'll be able to run games that can be 480p and have it scaled up and look like 720p, but get the performance at the higher frame rate of 480p. And I'm excited to see where this goes. But game developers need to support it first and foremost, okay? So hopefully game developers get on board. Hopefully game developers support it. I really hope they do. Um, but yeah, it's exciting to see where this is going to go. So let's get into the article and let's take a look. So AMD says its frame rate boosting FSR 2.0 is, is also headed to Xbox and NVIDIA graphics cards. So I'm assuming they're going to roll this out on all their RDNA 2.0 um, graphics cards or graphics chipsets, including hopefully the Steam Deck. Um, the upscaling battle continues. And so it's kind of cool that they're going to bring this to the Xbox and nvidia graphics cards talk about supporting your competitors right i mean if you like you know <laughs> i don't think d does nvidia support dlss on amd graphics cards let me know in the comments if you know that i don't think they do but they might there might be a way around like a way around it to get it to work but since last week amd promised a new technology that should let you blow up your games to higher resolutions or increase their frame rates with, without requiring the fancy machine learning hardware of nvidia's gpus like nvidia's loaded dlss so what's great about this is it doesn't require it doesn't require a hardware component to do it that a lot of nvidia gpus have built in um it does it i guess via software <laughs> Um, now at GDC 2022, it's revealing how the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 actually works, and that is coming to Microsoft's Xbox game consoles too. While AMD says you can't, uh, it can't actually say when Xbox game developers might take advantage of F FSR 2.0. It says it will be fully supported on Xbox and be available by the, on the Xbox GDK for registered developers to use in their games. So here's how it works: it takes the render resolution depth data, render resolution motion vectors, and render resolution color data. Um, um, and then basically upscales it and applies it to a lower resolution, you know, a lower resolution ver um, output um, and basically makes it look like it's the higher resolution without all the, the heavy lifting of actually running it at that higher resolution. So I think it's really smart. Um, it's also giving the community a list of both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs where you can expect FSR 2.0 to run. But if it doesn't require... If it doesn't require a hardware component, I don't see why it wouldn't. They wouldn't bring it eventually to the Steam Deck. I think they might even support FSR 1.0 on the Steam Deck on certain Steam Deck games as it is right now. Um, but yeah, I think Deathloop maybe is what um, is one of those games. So to give you a little example of what FSR can do on the Steam Deck, here's an article from The Verge um, where the writer did an, uh, did a little comparison here, showing you what Elden Ring looks like without RSR um, and with it. 
Now, RSR has upscaled this to like 1440p. Um, and this is what it looks like before the upscaling, okay? And this is what it looks like after the upscaling with RSR. What a difference, right? So you're gonna so you're gonna be able to run the game at a lower resolution, but have it look like that. All the have all the frame rate benefits, the higher frames of this, but have it look like that. That's a that's a pretty significant difference, right? But yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. And uh, hopefully, like I said, this all depends on developers. So I implore you, if you're a developer of a big game like Elden Ring, like um God, like Sony's own PlayStation, you like um, God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn that are, are Death Stranding um, on the PC now. They've ported their game, their exclusive games over to the PC. Hopefully, more developers just support this technology because we know AMD CPUs, AMD GPUs are really like just are taking leaps and bounds right now, and they're in more hard. I mean. AMD CPUs in the Steam Deck, AMD CPUs in Xbox and PS5, like more gaming machines, specifically, well, handhelds and game consoles are using AMD uh, GPUs and they're going to have to take, in, take that into account when they start developing these games and hopefully support features like FSR 2.0. So I'm excited to see it. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing for the gaming community, right? Higher frame rates, better looking games. Um, better battery life as well potentially um it's all good and um just excited um to see where this goes as i've said a million times in this video what we've been wondering since day one is what's the catch how can amd nearly double the frame rate of a demanding game like Deathloop? i want to know at a 4k equivalent resolution with the kind of image quality it showed us last week all without dedicated machine learning cores like nvidia's dlss the answer is complicated but a short version is that it can't Unless you have relatively powerful a powerful graphics card to begin with, um, Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 optimal starting level hardware. So these are the. So basically, we I mean the remember the this is optimal starting level hardware. These are for 1080p. The Steam Deck is 720p. So I'd imagine that the 720p graphics card. Uh, sorry, the Steam Deck's graphics card may be able to support this, hopefully. While the FSR 2.0 algorithms are remarkably fast, under 1.5 millisecond in all of AMD samples, it still takes time to run, and it takes more time on lower-end GPUs, where AMD freely admits that some of its optimizations don't work quite as well. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see this. Hopefully, we see FSR 2.0 on the Steam Deck. I really do. It's going to improve and extend the life of this console, of the Steam Deck um, for as long as developers develop it and develop it and build it into their games. So let me know what you think in the comments. Is it something you've maybe tried? Have you tried FSR 1.0? Have you tried NVIDIA DLSS? Has it made a big difference? Let me know down below. And do you think it'll make a big difference to the Steam Deck if they do support it? So anyways, let's subscribe. Click the like I like the click the like button down below please consider subscribing please consider clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe if you want more tech and gaming news um i'd love for you if you joined the community it'd be awesome anyways guys i'll see you in the next video peace out it's place to okay. bye